Feature patterns are used extensively in solid modeling, but tend to be limited to creating identical copies of a feature at constant spacing. With SOLIDWORKS 2013, these limitations are a thing of the past. Let's take a look at how the varying dimension pattern is used to create this sheet metal guard on the back of this zero turn mower. The slots on the back of this guard were created by patterning the slot in two directions. The pattern spacing and the slot length were varied to achieve this with just one feature. On the bottom, a two direction pattern was created using just the seat feature for the second direction. In this case, the pattern spacing was not incremented, but the length of the slot was, decreasingly varied by 10mm in both directions. On the side, we want to modify this pattern to take advantage of the new varying dimension pattern. It's really quite simple. First, we can add an increment to the pattern spacing so that the distance between each instance increases by a set amount. Then, you can select as many feature dimensions as you need to increment, such as the length and width of the slot. Let's increment the slot length by 40 and the slot width by 4. The preview provides visual cues as the changes are made and as you can see the last slot is way too long. But that's not a problem because instances can be individually modified and in this case we can shorten the last slot to 150 to achieve the desired length. Perfect. The new varying dimension pattern in SOLIDWORKS 2013 not only saves time and reduces the number of features, but also gives you the flexibility and freedom to get you the results you need.